Oh, well, it's your launch day for Paramount Plus, so why not celebrate by watching a new spinoff of a Nickelodeon classic? Yes, joining us live via Zoom, the voice of SpongeBob, Mr. Tom Kenny, and the voice of Patrick, Bill Faker Fakerbaki. Good morning to both of you, gentlemen. It's the best day ever. ever. Excellent. Ah. I was promised a big musical number. <laughs> Yes, oh wow, thank you. <laughs> I love Bob, that. Did you hear that guy sing your song? <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. Wow. I love that. This First I was salivating nice. over the black coffee, now I'm salivating <laughs> over your performance. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. This is so much fun. So much fun. You got like, we got a new SpongeBob movie, yeah. but we also have, this is fascinating, it's it's like SpongeBob, their early years. Right, the prequel, if yeah. you will. Yeah, yeah, so g give us a little idea of what the, what the new show is all about, guys. Sure. Uh, well, uh, SpongeBob Sponge on the Run is a film that starts streaming today. It was supposed to be in movie theaters, and then that didn't pan out uh, uh, for obvious reasons. So now it's, it's streaming. We finally get to see it. And uh, there's a flashback sequence in there of SpongeBob and Patrick as little kids at summer camp, Camp Coral. And then that sequence got uh, got transported to uh, Nickelodeon as a, as a CGI animated series that also starts streaming today on uh, Paramount+. Plus. This is so exciting. Okay, are you guys excited as, as excited as we are about Paramount Plus launching today? There is so much content. Oh, great. I know there's so much stuff. Yeah, so I'm a SpongeBob nerd and a Star Trek nerd. So so oh, that's that's yeah. a win-win. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm excited about both, quite honestly. So Maybe exciting. a little bit too much. A little bit too much. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Let's go back to when you two were first approached about a little sponge who's square mm -hmm. that wears pants. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you have any idea that this would keep going this long and still be this beloved and there would be musicals and movies? And generations and, of yeah. fans? Man. Oh, golly. Are you, no, no, no. I didn't even understand the cartoon. I thought it was just some some preschool drivel. I, I, I know, why is the character going, who's ready? Why is he saying it three times? I mean, I didn't, I didn't understand any of it. And we had this crazy session where we recorded the pilot and we were like using helium to make the sound of the anchovies. E -de -de -de. I just thought it was this wacky experience. Then I saw the pilot and my head exploded and I saw the genius of Steven Hillenberg and you know, he's using this tiny Tim song, having a wonderful time. And, and the humor was just so fabulous. Yeah. And, and, and the world he created was so unusual. Yeah, and oh, I, I knew Steve from a previous show that we had both worked on, an animated show that was kind of our first start in the business for each of us in terms of employment and animation. And so I first, uh, I first came to SpongeBob through drawings that Steve showed me in a notebook. You know, hey, I'm thinking of pitching this thing, and you know, some some uh, watercolor uh, uh, treatments that he had done of SpongeBob's pineapple house and Squidward's cheeky head house, like these beautiful little, you know, eight by ten sized uh, 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 watercolors. And I just fell in love with it, even in that format, you know. And and then you know when it became a show and then when the show kind of took over the world and then when the the it, you know is still around it's this multi-generational yeah. thing it, it's uh yeah you that, that's the kind of thing you can never foresee i mean i if, if i would have brought my crystal ball back to crystal balls r us if it showed me that 25 <laughs> years ago i'd say this, this thing's broken <laughs> i love it i love it tom bill thank you so much for your time this morning can you guys do us a quick little favor whatever you need. It, it's time for us to go to commercial break. It would just be fun if SpongeBob and Patrick sent us into the commercial break. What do you think? Absolutely, let's do it. Hey, okay. Patrick, we're gonna be back with more Good Day right after these messages, right, Mr. Star? Yeah, and we're gonna, so just sit there and we're gonna take you and we're gonna push you into a commercial. Okay, <laughs> hold still. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, guys.